All right, I just woke up. My uh, day planner is gonna be to go by uh, the regional office, make official complaint about the Dr. Reardon. Since all of it was bullshit, uh, that they didn't file a um, malpractice suit. Um, of course, I don't have money to get on the light rail. I'm going to be like I was in Chicago. I'm still in rides when I can. Causing havoc when I can. Going back to the VA, this guy uh, at the information desk with a um, veteran's hat on rolled on some bullshit that I, I said. When I went to the regional office, the guy said, uh, if I file a complaint or a malpractice suit on a doctor, I might lose my 100% disability. And he said, yeah, yeah, you might. So I'm going to call him an idiot out loud if he, if he repeats that today. I'm sure the VA police is going to put me off the property. But all I'm going to say... Cause he sits at the information desk. I never seen him before. He got a veteran's hat on. If you need any information, don't ask this idiot here. That should be enough to get me put off the, the property. And then I'll go over to um, the regional office and um, talk to one of the supervisors saying that one of his uh, representatives say, if I file a malpractice suit, I'll lose my disability. And if he says it, I want to talk to somebody over him. Because this has nothing to do with one, has nothing to do with the other. And and um, that is like a blackmail to me. I, I don't, man, it, it gassed me out when he said that. Um, What else can I do to cause havoc and confusion today? I'm going to walk when I can. Stay on the right side of the law when I can. After all, I walked 23 miles before anyway. Um, I really think there's, that's about enough in one day to do. Oh. Well, after... After they send whatever they send from the emergency room, when this lady said she's not a, um, she don't know much about skin, being a white lady, being a lady, period, she should be an authority on skin, which is bullshit. When for her to tell me she don't know a muff, nuts, muff, nuts, a uh, muff, damn. Enough about skin, dry skin, and how you should keep it, uh, uh, it um, moisturized. She said that she's uh, not authority on that. And I said, ma'am, you give me some Neosporin, something to keep the dirt out of a wound, and I'll be all right. Well, I don't think Neil Sporin do any good, but you can buy that at the store. That's what she told me. I wish I could have filmed how she looked when I told her, why should I buy some Neil Sporin from the store when I could get it here? She couldn't wait to leave that room because of the way. She just looked ridiculous saying that. Everybody's trying to save Phoenix some money, spewing out this poison. Like that idiot at the uh, information desk with that uh, veteran's hat on was probably a cook or something. Or uh, a coward. Talking about, oh yeah, that, yeah, you might lose his disability. Hmm. Okay. You might lose your life. Fuck with my shit. But uh, I'm going to call him an idiot out loud. And see if he want to stay at that desk and uh, give people information. 
you know, I can get loud. So I'm going to see if he want to stay at that desk spewing out that information after today. I can guarantee you he probably won't. Because the lady, the information lady, turned her back on him. She didn't know he was lying. I got to get him today. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to walk when I can. Stay on the right side of the law when I can. Break the law when I can. To get to these places I need to get to. To have the answers that I need to have today. I'm tired of Phoenix and they bullshit. Everybody just. It is really amazing. How. They're like the hands of all state. They go along with a bullshit lie and not even know the reasons why they're lying. Just just together on um, and looking um, at, at a goal of one thing to fuck you out of some money or to discourage you from being here. I mean, it, it is really, really ridiculous. And I'm going to expose all of them fuckers and all you fuckers. Sooner or later, Facebook or YouTube is not going to be able to deny this bullshit that's going on in Phoenix and, and uh, make it a national, uh, uh, have it on a national level of how this one town worked together to um, fuck people out of their money. One, It's going to be one day. It's going to be no denying it. That they're going to say, well, damn, look at these fuckers in Phoenix. Phoenix. That name in itself is a funny name, Phoenix. It almost sounds like smoke and mirrors. Phoenix. Hmm. I'm going to spoil y'all ass. Didn't stop fucking with me. And like I say... It's always the beginning of uh, something. It always starts with one person. He either gives up and and um, you, you're not exposed or he either becomes um, a martyr in, in, in a way and you're exposed. I ain't going to give up. I'm finna embarrass the shit out of some people, especially an old boy at that death. You guarantee you ain't going to want to give nobody no information. No, because I've never seen them before. <clears throat> wow. So that's my day. Still in rise where I can. Breaking the law when I can. Staying on the right side of the law when I can. To get to the regional office. To get to the answers I need to get to. And to get back home. Because I had to go through all that shit yesterday. Oh, Miss Ghetto Fabulous putting me off the light rail because I didn't have money to uh, to go down to the hospital because my leg was sitting there bleeding. And I showed her and about 50 other people when I raised my pants leg. And then uh, Ruby giving me a dollar saying don't worry about it. I kept Ruby's dollar because I wanted to have a, a fight then on the way back and told a uh, Spanish guy conductor he said man some people don't have common sense to know to not leave leave you alone just let you ride he said but you might have trouble down the line Because uh, uh, there's other guys, the military guys, and no, I know him. I, if I if I seen him, he wouldn't have said nothing. But I said, I appreciate you having common sense and let me ride back. I kept that little dollar. When I see Ruby again, I'm going to give her $20. But her to carry on 
and do what she's been doing. Not be an idiot and have common sense to let people ride that train that really needs to ride it. Thank you.